Hello guys, here I am out in the wild going to be looking for an agouti because we are speaking about the Conservation of Wildlife Act. So let me just define hunting for you um, under this act. It speaks about killing, wounding, pursuing, capturing or molesting by any method, any animal and also attempting to do any such thing and it includes any act immediately directed at killing or capturing any animal. So you don't have to worry. In this video, we're just going to be capturing the animal and we're going to be using dogs. Um, so you're going to see that throughout the video. Uh, so let's prepare ourselves. It's going to be a really exciting video and I'm so glad that you are here with us. So remember to subscribe if you haven't. They told me that I need to look for somewhere to shelter, so I'm going to be looking for somewhere. Somewhere um, that's safe. I can't go under any old trees, they say, because the branches may fall on me. Uh, but that's, that's part of it. Rain, rain, Please. who are we? I Looking want to hunt right. a bee. Uh, but let me see if I can find somewhere safe to stand for the Guys, we were roaming the bush for about four hours, up and down hills, over rivers, waiting for the dogs to pen our animal. I tell you, it was really good exercise. And um, I had my essentials, I had my water and my toilet paper, just in case I needed it. And then we hear the dogs starting to make noise, so we started to run towards where they were, because we knew that something was happening. Guys. This is what uh, happens when you pen an animal. So you see the dogs there digging in the hole, the goatee went inside there. And they're trying to take it off. We're hoping it's a goatee. You see this dog right here? His name is Jeff. Taking his job seriously, using his paw to remove the soil as well as his mouth to remove whatever root is disturbing him. Serious dog. So hear this, whenever a person wants to hunt, you cannot hunt during the close season. It is only during the hunting period that is normally declared by the minister. Anybody who hunts in the close season, it's illegal. This is Jit. What he's doing here is just making a handle for the spade so that we could assist the dog in actually digging the hole. We're looking for the next hole as well because there are two holes. And it appears as though the next hole is up on this side. What do you think, David? Yeah, let's block this one. Next one. Have our next hole here. So we're blocking this one to make sure that we do a link mm -hmm. so that the beast don't fly out of this one. As you heard, David said the beast don't fly out of the hole because we don't know what animal it is. We're hoping that it's an agouti. Like but how many holes do you think it might have so for this one? Well, you have to check around and see. Yeah. I was going and clear the bush around there to make sure you can have no other holes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have what, like five holes, four holes. Well, is it according to how much exit hole they have? Mm -hmm. yeah. So according to the second schedule of the Conservation of Wildlife Act, it identifies some animals that you could hold during the hunting season. These would be alligators or caiman, lizards such as iguanas or sally painter. Yeah, and then there's a gucci armadillo, which is tattoo. There's the deer, um, the lap. Then there's the quen. Persons call it the wild hog. And then there was a new one that was added. It's called the capybara. Clearing up the area so that it's going to be easy to get the beast. Hear this. In order for you to hunt any of those animals specified, you must obtain what is called a state game license. Without that, you're going to be hunting illegally. Okay, so what we're looking for right now is the junction, which basically means that the beginning of this hole might be going in different directions, maybe going left, right, we may be going above, so we're trying to see where this good team may have gone to. And in all of that you're hearing the birds. Watch me, watch me. Right, so. See That's offering up again. Yeah. And the next man will then try to just dig here. Hoping that it's an agouti, in any event we had various state game permits that are required whenever you're hunting so we had for the lizards we had for agoutis we had for armadillo and we also had for lap and you guys saw how small this hole was huh no small hole but i think we're going to be amazed as to how um, deep and how wide these these holes go saying something for those who don't understand dog language, what he said is to make sure that you subscribe to the legal journey because on this channel we simplify the law for you. 
So far we went down about a foot and a half and it's about two feet wide. You see the material is like a kind of sun kind of sun mud and it's still up and up again. Sound it again. We were digging for a while and then we saw this hole and we had to use these leaves, they're called Sahari leaves, to secure the hole quickly to ensure that whatever animal is inside there doesn't escape. We started to make some progress. I started to get excited. I want to know what animal we captured. But while we continue to dig and see what we captured, I just want to make it clear that when a person obtains a state game license, it doesn't mean that that person could then use that license to go and hunt any and everywhere in Trinidad and Tobago. Remember, the law is always balanced. It has to consider all persons and stakeholders' rights. So, in efforts to protect animals and to create a safe place for animals, the law provides what they call game sanctuaries. It identifies 12 places in the Conservation of Wildlife Act. Let me just identify or name at least four of these places. There's the North Range Game Sanctuary, there's Valencia Game Sanctuary, there's Central Range uh, Game Sanctuary, and then in Tobago, there's the Little Tobago Game Sanctuary. So one must never hunt in those places. Anytime you know persons are hunting in those areas, that is illegal and reports should be made. We know that it's in there for sure. It's just for us to get them out. <laughs> So hopefully we'll be able to get more soon as, as seen start to go from this little small hole here. So we have to dig right here to find the direction. They call it a junction to see which direction the Hagutimia uh, going to. And, and there's also this hole on top here. Guys, we knew it was an agouti, but we were still being careful because we didn't want to injure any animal unnecessarily. Beginning the last one. Is he a agouti? Big agouti. Dive through on this. Agouti, this part is not small. One head past. Yeah, one head, head past. One head past. It's going like maniku. In a tree hole, and a bullet speed flying there. What are you doing? No. When you fall out, when you smoke the agouti, when you fall down, you jump at the tree hole or something. Hmm. Well guys, I'm hoping that we have a junk of Gucci in this hole that we've been digging for over 30 minutes now. When a person obtains their state game license, it means that that person could go and hunt during the hunting season on state lands or their private lands. Let me just define what state lands include according to the Conservation of Wildlife Act. I would refer to the waste or vacant lands of the state within Trinidad and Tobago and all lands vested in the state, whether by forfeiture or purchase or exchange and not dedicated to the public. So once you obtain your license, the state game license, you are able to hunt on state lands or private lands during the hunting period. Money side, money left side. You like? Then had a bit more down The Conservation of Wildlife Act actually places a greater responsibility on those persons who are actually living in game sanctuary. They must obtain what is called a resident license because it is an offense for you to have any dogs or guns or any weapons or so that could be used for hunting even during the close season. So it means that you need to obtain a resident license from the chief games warden to keep dogs, guns, weapons, devices that are capable of hunting during the close season if you live within a game sanctuary. If you don't, it's illegal and you could find yourself in a lot of trouble. So you need to find out if you actually live in one of those game sanctuary and if you have to apply for a residence license. Again, all in all to ensure that we protect and preserve and conserve those animals uh, that live within the Game Sanctuary. Let me just give you some others such as the Trinity Hills Game Sanctuary, there's the Southern Watershed Game Sanctuary, there's Saldado Rock Game Sanctuary, there's Mon Le Enfer Game Sanctuary, 
12 of them. So look for the act, do a Google search or so under the Conservation of Wildlife Act. It's under the first schedule and it actually gives you the boundaries for each of the areas. This guy right here deserves a medal. This guy was pushing his hand in the hole, just like that, and feeling for the animal. And I was tempted, I was tempted to just scare him, boo! But you know, I, I think that might be inappropriate. <laughs> but look at this, look at this. This one up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. Move the speed. And here it is you guys, this is what we've been hunting for for the last 5 hours more or less. So remember to subscribe on my channel, on this channel you learn about the law and we simplify it and make it as real as possible for you guys. Check out my other video and I'll see you then, take care for now.